Hey, Kawhi, Doc had mentioned that he felt like when you watched you perform today, it looked like you were the one guy who knew what it took to close out a series. I'm just curious, like, what's your experience in big series? How did that factor into how comfortable you felt in the second half, particularly today? Uh, I guess just, um, you know, being here before, you know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, just knowing it's going to take the 48 minutes. Um, you know, I always say, but just, you know, just playing even kill out there. I thought, um, you know, we're, we played pretty well in that first half. I think we went in with about a six-point lead. So it was about starting that third quarter. And, you know, we got the lead up, got the lead up. And, 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 you know, you just got to keep fighting. This, this playoff basketball, everything is not going to go your way. Um, you don't have downs and ups, and uh, you just got to keep playing. Home. Home, you can go ahead. There we go. Hey, Kawhi. Uh, we haven't spoken to you since Wednesday's emotional players meeting. Um, Doc thought it was really good of you to talk to the players and deliver kind of like a calm sense of demeanor. I was wondering what, what your message was to the players, and did you think that the season was going to end after that meeting? Uh, I didn't really know really what to think at that point. Um, I didn't think, uh, you know, pretty much the whole league didn't want to stop playing. Um, and, you know, just telling them just uh, we can't control what's going on outside. All we can control is what we're doing um, on and off the floor. Uh, you know, just just taking one message at a time, if you want to, you know, change the you know, racial injustice. And, or whatever you want to do, uh, in education or urban economics. And, you know, it, it's just up to the individual to try to change my mind uh, off the floor. So, uh, you know, we just we stay steady. Move over to Taylor Rooks. Hey, Kawhi, so second round of playoffs, what do you need more of from your team? What do you need less of? Um, I mean, just got to focus. Uh, you know, that's what we got to do. Um, less mistakes, um, for sure, and I mean, more execution. But um, you know, we got to know until we see what team we're playing. We'll go down to Mark Medina. All right. Um, so Doc's point of phrasing you know, of how you know is calm under pressure. What's been key to being able to still have that mindset even in this environment with what's not only going on in the world, but all the adjustments that the public entails. I guess, uh, uh, you know, the, the most fun you have is coming out here. Uh, what well, me is playing in a basketball game, but uh, it's hard to unlock and you know live your everyday life. But kind of been here before, um, you know, going through rehab or just gym home, gym home, and it kind of feels like that. But, uh, just focus on the goal. That's, that's all you can do. Take it one day at a time. Miriam? Why, well, congrats, man. Um, you're talking sort of about your steadiness and, and your consistency. Do, do you feel that sort of affect your teammates when you're when you're out there? Can like you can kind of bring down their their energy if it's the wrong kind of energy? No, not at all. I mean, I've been the same player my whole career. And, you know, I've been fortunate enough to, you know, get to where teams want to get to and win it. So I don't think it affects them at all. Um, you know, it, if anything, it helps. If you see how I'm playing, I'm bringing energy to the floor. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what I mean. Like you're bringing like a positive energy and, and sort of your demeanor sort of gets them to, you know, like you say, you got to push through with the playoffs. I mean, yeah, I mean, at times I try to be positive, you know, for the majority of the game, um, unless uh, somebody's making a mistake over and over, then I, you know, kind of get out of character or, you know, want them to do better. But, you know, for the most part, one mistake, uh, I'm just talking through it and trying to trying to uh, do better. You know, the next possession, when the team does run a certain action and try to pull us again, that's all it's about. You can't get too mad can't get overly excited. Uh, like I said, you can't control shots. Everybody wants to make make baskets and you know sometimes they just don't go in for you. 
We have time for a couple more. Uh, Farbod? Hey, Kawhi. Doc had mentioned that these were the playoffs of Zubats' life, and Zubats kind of joked it was, you know, the only playoffs of his life. What did you see from him and how he was able to close out the games later in the series? Uh, it was a big series for him. Uh, you know, he was able to contest those shots when Luka got in the paint or uh, when he's trying to shoot those threes, um, you know, kind of making him think about it a little bit more than him coming down very comfortable and laying the ball up. Uh, you know, he had to go against uh, a seven-footer. And, uh, you know, you know, he helped us out big time. Um, you know, the numbers might not always show it, but his defense was amazing. And him you know, running up on offense, um, you know, finding his spots in that dunker spot and laying the ball up, making his free throws, it was very big. And move over to Tomer. Hey, Kawhi, uh, congratulations on the series win. Um, how do you, uh, I guess, go about in terms of celebrating? Obviously, this is worth celebrating, get, getting through. But, you know, there's been some stuff made about, you know, guys like Pat and Tress celebrating on the bench. How do you go about, ce- do, you, do you celebrate this? Or do you just, you know, put this aside and then move on to the next round? You always celebrate. I mean, you could be going home right now. So, you know, just it's one step closer to, you know, where, where we want to get to. So, um, you know, it's a good accomplishment. Um, you know, we got off the first round and, you know, now it's, you know, we enjoy it tonight and uh, we get ready for the next team tomorrow. And that's how it pretty much is. You know, always uh, enjoy a win. You never want to take that away. Or we, I don't know why we're playing. Thanks. I think we had a follow up from Taylor and that's what we have time for. So obviously this means more time in the bubble. We have heard players here and also some of your teammates talk about maybe the effect that the bubble has had on them mentally. Has it had any effect on you just being in this like secluded place? Uh, for sure. I mean, you're not able to see family. You're doing the same thing every day. Um, you know what I mean? It's just it's kind of feels like you can't get away from the game. But like I said, I kind of been here before going through rehab. So, uh, you know, dealing with my knee injury was basically once we were in the rehab and going home, wasn't going outside. So, um, you just got to go your families or uh, your teammates or your family. So you just got to spend time with them, try to get outside with them, and, you know, laugh and joke and really just don't take it so serious. Just, just one day at a time. That's it. Thanks, Kawhi. Have a good night. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thanks, Kawhi. Paul George will be coming up on this link next.